So I get a phone call from a friend of mine and he says, we've got this white fallow buck that we have to cull. He's in a transfer pen right now and we wanted to see if any of our hunter friends wanted to come and harvest him. Why not? I'll be there. So I grabbed my son, Lane, and said, hey dude, will you film for me? Because I really want to focus on hunting and I, I want to capture this. Night one, we, we had a blast. He harvested an axis deer, I harvested an axis deer. He harvested an axis deer with his rifle and I was like, oh crap, I'm not gonna be able to get one with my bow because they're hiding so well. And we tried for hours to get one with a bow and I couldn't, so I actually harvested my axis with the rifle as well. Next day, we go, we go, it's a five acre transfer pen and the work begins. Spotting stocking on a fallow deer, any kind of deer, is not as easy as people would like to think, especially a deer that is in an area that they're not comfortable with, then they're not in their normal habitat, they're not in their patterns. Wind was always blowing good for us. He was running. He would stop every once in a while to get some water or get some rest, but as soon as he sensed danger, he was gone. He was just running. Oh, oh, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, what a fucking shot. Oh, oh, my God. He didn't go one yard. Wow. The adrenaline that's going through both of us is like, oh, crap, man, this was awesome. Oh my God, wow. Hey, up to up there, standing on top of that hill. Yo, be careful up there now. That's, that's about 260. Don't forget, click like, click subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified. Thanks for watching.